Good evening, you're joining the State of Business with me, Nishani Pigera. As usual, a look at the headlines first. Central Bank's annual report presented to President. And CCC highlights opportunities to be created by GSP+. In tonight's main story, the annual report of Central Bank of Sri Lanka was presented to President Maitri Pala Sirisena by Governor Dr. Indrajit Kumaraswamy. It was presented at the President's official residence in Colombo today. Deputy Governor Dr. Nandalal Veera Singha, Assistant Governor K.H.M. Sirivodhana and Director of Economic Research Dr. Y. Indaratna were also present at this occasion. The Ceylon Chamber of Commerce is encouraged by the prospects of regaining the GSP plus trade concessions and is hopeful that the final vote at the EU Council of Ministers will be favourable to Sri Lanka. The CCC said GSP plus will have a significant positive impact on the country's exports to the European Union. It comes at a good time for the country as overall exports have been flagging and has affected the country's external payment position. Given that most orders have already been finalized for the year 2017, the CCC said that the real boost is likely to be seen from 2018. Nevertheless, several chamber member companies noted that they are already in contact with EU buyers who are keen to place new orders as soon as the GSP Plus is reinstated. The Ceylon Chamber of Commerce now calls on the government to launch a targeted and accelerated program to support sectors capable of expanding their exports to the EU. The government's trade and export agencies, together with the exporter community, can collectively embark on a focused competitiveness program using the GSP Plus period as, as a breathing space rather than a comfort zone. Meanwhile, UMP MP Nalin Bandara said the renewal of EU GSP Plus will help revive Sri Lanka's export sector. The government is hopeful that Sri Lanka will be able to start sending exports to the European Union later this month using trade concessions. <laughs> Vietnam, Bangladesh, okay, okay, uh, uh, JVP leader Andhra Kumar Disanayaka says the masses have sent a clear message to the government that they do not approve the present government's economic strategy. Addressing the media, he pointed out the government's move to transfer a stake in the Trikomali oil tank farm to India would be harmful to the country. <laughs> एकदा समस्या तीहे दिया आरंभ कर लाद, मेट्रिक ट्रोन लाख से दहायक कबड़ा कराना पुलुआन, किन्ह मास तूने कटा आसन प्रमाण का तेल कबड़ा कर लाती है ना पुलुआन, इतना मत वैधगत सांपता, ये सांपता संग मर्द ने क्रीम, तेल सांस्ताव याद तेरे पैवरी जो किन्ह स्तावरे तमाय आप इसी दिन ने, एक किसी सेत में अनेक उदक कोटे से दिए ना तो यात्री कोटे से तीन तेल टैंक की दास या तमें देने टा में गुल्लू में पाविच कराने आईओसी के इतने औकम दिरा पत्ते बिंती में और दाहतुना कथा तिब्बत नहीं बन तो नेवत में विनाशी देखा ला तेल सांस्ताव में कट में दिया तुम देने को तमें आईओसी कट आए क्या कुमें दिन इन वो तेल टैंक की दासी, ये गुलो गाबड़ा पावजी कर दासी, चल क्यों तो तेल प्रमाण है, अभी एको लंगिंग कुलिए डाल के ना गाबड़ा कर लेते बोलो युद्ध काले, निदास पहिना निदास नामे वेन का युद्ध काले, ये गाबड़ा गास तो, ये अभी गब अभी गाबड़ा बल, ये गुलो ना दीला, अभी गाबड़ा केरी मनी सापे गाबड़ Million hat the buy. State of Business will return with more news after this short break. Do stay with us.
Welcome back. You're watching The State of Business. The General Secretary of the United People's Freedom Alliance, Mahinda Amravira, says the SLFP Central Committee will decide the future course of action against the SLFP MPs who skipped the May Day rally in Kandy. A group of SLFPers took part in the May Day rally held at the golf face in Colombo, which was organized by the Joint Opposition. <laughs> ජනාධිපතිතුමා ඒ යන වෙලාවල් ලොව කියලා ගියා අපි ඔය පක්ෂ මූලස්ථානෙ දිහා බලන්නේ ඔය ඩාලි පාර දිහා එන්නේ නැහැ අපි කියලා ගීපු කට්ටිය ආය සමාජිකත්වය අරගෙනව The National Authority for the Implementation of Chemical Weapons Convention organized an event in Colombo to mark the 20th anniversary of the organization for the prohibition of chemical weapons the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons is the implementing body of the Chemical Weapons Convention which has ratified by 192 UN member states. They have promised to work together to achieve a world free of chemical weapons. The OPCW member states represent about 98% of the global population and land mass as well as 98% of the worldwide chemical industry. Sri Lanka also has already established the full implementation of chemical weapons convention in the country through an act of parliament in 2007 which is to date completes 10 years of implementation. At present we have a proper system of implementing this convention mainly through the national authority established under uh, this ministry. Let's take a look at how the stocks perform today after this short break. Welcome back to the show. Trading at the Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a negative note today. The All Share Price Index dropped by 44.31 points to close at 6,563.85, and the SNP SL20 Index dropped by 20.99 points to close the session at 3,757.65. Turnover was 608 million rupees, and 24.6 million shares were traded. Up next are the day's forex rates. And that's all the news we have for you tonight. Do join us again tomorrow at the same time. Until then, thank you for watching. Have a pleasant evening.